When working with Node.js and when creating an application using Node.js, we are going to use a lot of third-party packages. And we are going to download and install those third-party packages from NPM. So in this lecture and in next couple of lectures, we are going to learn about NPM and packages in Node. So what is NPM? NPM stands for Node Package Manager and it is both a command line interface for managing packages and also a repository from where we can install and manage packages. The NPM command line interface gets automatically installed on the machine when we install Node.js. So when we install Node.js, with that, NPM also gets installed. We can use this NPM command line interface to install and manage open source packages. And from where we are going to install and manage these open source packages? Again, we are going to install and manage these open source packages from package repository, from the NPM package repository. So basically, the packages which we install and manage using NPM CLI, it comes from a package repository, which is also called as NPM. And this npmjs.com, this is the package repository, and it is also called as NPM. So NPM is actually both a command line interface app that we use to manage packages and also a package repository from where we install packages. This npmjs.com, this is the package repository where all the packages are stored and from where we can download and install them. Also, this npm repository, it is the largest software registry in the world. It has around 1 million packages, libraries and frameworks which we can download from here. For example, from the next section, we are going to work with a package called Express. And that package is also available in this repository. So if I search for Ex Express here, if I press enter, here you can see we have that package. If I click on this Express, it will take us to the documentation page. And here you can see all the information related to this package. So basically, what is the home page for this package? What is the weekly downloads? The latest version, license, and also how to use it. So here you can see, this is how we can use this Express.js in our Node application. Then we also have some info on how to install this package in our Node.js project. Then what are its features? Then where you can find the documents and the community. So all these informations you can find here. And these days, NPM is not just used only for Node.js, but it is used across the entire JavaScript development, no matter if you're developing a front-end or back-end application. For example, if you have worked with front-end development with React or Angular, those packages can also be found here. So if I search for React, you can see we have that React library also registered in this NPM repository. In the same way, if I search for Angular, we should have that framework also registered in this NPM repository. So here you can see some of the packages related to Angular, which you can download. Okay. So all the popular libraries and frameworks, they are available on this NPM repository. So basically this NPM JS is where all the packages are hosted. All right. So we learned that NPM is both a package repository and also a command line interface. Here, we talked about the NPM package repository. Now, let's talk about the NPM command line interface. For that, let's go to VS Code. Now, NPM command line interface is a software that we use to manage and install third-party open source packages that we choose to include and use in our project. To use NPM command line interface, you can open command prompt or you can also use VS Code's built-in terminal. Here, let's first go ahead and let's check what is the version of NPM installed on my machine. So if you remember, we learned that whenever we install Node.js on our machine, with Node.js, NPM automatically gets installed. So here if I say NPM hyphen V or hyphen version, and if I press enter, it should give us the version of the NPM installed on my machine. On my machine, this version of NPM is installed. Now, whenever we create a new project, the first thing which we do is we create a configuration file for that project. And this configuration file is called as package.json. Package.json is simply a configuration file for the project where all kind of information about the project is stored, like the project name, what are the dependencies this project has, what are the development dependencies this project has, etc, etc. And to create package.json file for the project, we can run this command npm init. If I press enter, 
it is going to ask us few questions before creating the package.json file. For example, let me move this terminal a bit up so that it will be more readable. Okay, so here it is asking for the package name. Here I am going to call this package as Node.js basic. Now keep in mind that this name should be URL friendly. That's why I am using hyphens here. Then let's press enter. Now it is asking us to specify the version of this project. Here I am going to keep this default value 1.0.0. Now it is asking us for some description of this project. Let's say learn basics of Node.js. Let's press enter. Then it is asking for the entry point. So entry point is basically going to be a JavaScript file which will be executed first. In our case, the entry point is going to be this app.js file. So I will keep this default value and I will press enter. Now here it is asking for some test commands. We don't have any. So let's simply press enter. Then it is asking for the git repository. Again, we don't have this git repository for now. So I will simply press enter. Then you can also specify some keywords for your project. But I'm not going to specify anything here. Let me press enter. Then here it is asking for the author name. So here you can provide the developer's name or the creator name, etc. Here I'll go ahead and I'll put my name. Let's press enter. Now it is asking for a license. So here I'm going to keep this default value. Let's again press enter. And now it is showing us the structure of the package.json file, which we are going to see in the package.json file. So basically here you can verify if you're okay with these values. And if you're okay with this content, then you can simply go ahead and press enter. And it will create this package.json file in your project. If I open this package.json file, this package.json is simply a configuration file which is going to store some information about your project. So these are some basic fields which we have for this package.json file. But we can also add more fields to this package.json file. Finally, you can also install packages from the npm repository using this command line interface. And we will see that in our next lecture. In the next lecture, we will learn what are the different types of packages which we can have in our node application and what are the different types of installations. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.